round five has started, and it seems that many people has been overtaken as um, the first place. Candlelight went up to four wins and zero zero loss. There's five people that's four wins. Yeah, so Candlelight was originally below a lot of the... So Godspeed and Retrun was actually uh, 3-0 earlier, but they lost their first round in Phase 2. Yeah. And Corvi and Candlelight has taken over. So that's an interesting thing. So let's hop into one of the... Yep, so you can choose what you want top, to watch. Top 3 games. So a game that we have not watched before. Mm-hmm. Uh, players that we have not watched before. Okay, so let's look, Col- look at PC Dex. Col- yeah, yeah, and Kobe. Col- Col- so I, I also just noticed that Visor will be playing against one of the 12 points. Yeah. So that's... We wish him wish his deck luck. <laughs> okay, so Corvi is playing Lion, which is getting taken up by Ursa, sadly. And he plays Lion on the flop. Uh, I feel that's... No, that's not a flop. That's a second turn. Oh, second, card, that's, that's second turn. Alright, alright. His first turn, he lost all his cards. So he has three... <laughs> all his heroes? <laughs> yeah, you look at his... His current... Um, fountain has three heroes there. Okay. He so lost this... Two- this th- so his fifth card is actually Jamoy. And no. this third is his uh Trion is, is also dying. Mana four, right? So just now is the flop lion. Yeah, flop lion. So f- lion flop was a very bad play. <laughs> not not too sure about that. Point flop daddy. Unless he flopped Debbie as well and it dies. <laughs> no, uh yeah, probably f- he flopped Debbie and it died, I think. Okay. So let's look at their deck. So Kogi, Kobe is playing a very interesting deck. It's blue, green, black. And I would say his heroes is a little bit weak on the weak side. Yep, definitely. But um, he has reached four wins. I would so. have swapped I would have swapped Lion out for Debbie. But yeah, he reached four win with this deck, so we shall see. So we shall see. What he did. Mm-hmm. And also on PC Dad's deck. Um, he actually plays the oath here, so which one is oath. one of the cards you play that um when you have control over the lane. Yeah. So, this is something I I would want to see um. I want to see how it plays out in when it reaches the late phase of the game. So what do you do now? As you see that I think you can. I think you can relentless pursuit your Debbie to the last lane. Uh, I feel yeah, I I would fly to the last lane so that uh it will push a tower for nine damage. Because if you so, if you if you relist to the first lane it kinda miss a combat phase. Yeah, but um the thing is uh, <laughs> Corvi, Corvi actually put uh, Mist in lane 1, so you yeah. wouldn't want that to play it out for too long as well. Yeah, I guess you want to contest that. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. Yeah, so this is okay. something that I would do as well. I would put most some of my heroes, at least one hero in lane 1 and a second hero in lane 2. And look at lane For 3 where as Kogi, PC Dead has decided. You, you, you were saying that as Kobe, you'll put one lane 1 and one lane 2. Yeah, so yeah. I will put definitely put some to counter the, the damage in lane 1. Yeah, yeah, which he is doing quite well. Yeah, so and you get the that's, miss, miss that's a good Uh, this but on the other drain. hand, uh, <laughs> yeah, Mana Drain is a very bad card. And playing Oglody this early in game is a very, very... Um, I, I think that's it's, fine. It's fine, but it lets your opponent play around it when it comes to the uh, late game. I think it's fine and because personally, it's what I would have damage. done at the start of the, the turn is I would just assassinate. 
Yeah. I wouldn't have done anything else, I would just assassinate. That's true, that's true. Yeah, assassinate it looks like a because, better play. Yeah, so because now you lose your... Hero. Yeah, your hero for no reason. Or you want, you can actually assassinate now from lane 2. But he doesn't as well. He so... can't, he can't. So lane 2, yeah. He can assass assassinate, five. you can use in any lane, right? no man? But it's 5 mana. So oh, first, oh. first lane was accelerated by the... Salamene's favor, yeah. okay. So I, I don't like this triple raid deployment on the right. Uh, if this is what I would do when last time, because it seems like your first lane is winning, right? And then you totally give up your second lane and you go for the third lane. So what if Kobe uh, managed to contest the first lane? Like you said, if he has assassinated the, the one of the heroes, the first lane is now even. And he has totally no play on the second lane. So I don't really like the triple deploy on the right for PC that. So now you can't assassinate because your yeah your mana has dropped down to his... unless you put Salamines on lane two and then you assassinate over to lane one. How did he have seven mana last turn? Did he have like what? Uh, two mana drain. Oh yeah, mana so drain. So mana drain. And then you can't your. Oh you can't... yeah, then you can't assassinate. Yeah, you can't assassinate. I think Oglody last turn was fine. It blocks 13 minus 5, 6 damage. Yeah, it stalls for a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Um, but I think that that, that uh, mana drain was actually uh, impactful because. Okay, so pushing knife here is a very good play to get. <laughs> 20 gold. Yes. So he gets a total of 30 gold for killing. Oh, 20 gold for killing three yeah. heroes. And now. Since you have Salamene's favor, I would considering I would consider assassinating one of the heroes. In yeah, you, you shoot the Mister back. Yep. Unfortunately, your first tower is dying. Yeah. So, and your sec your last tower is also dying. So with Hellbear and uh, you play the Hellbear to ensure little. No. Oh, no, but he doesn't. So he's doing some confident play over here, thinking that he will probably get lane so, one yeah. together. So, so the only reason to save that is you want to save the creep for the lane one, right? Mm -hmm. But I think that might be a limit too ambitious. I will always go for the little, and then you put for put pressure on on another lane for on the same lane with for the ancient pressure basically. So that you force people, you force your opponent to drop a hero deck to answer. So now what uh what happens is that the sniper has his headshot ability active and he can actually headshot one of his one of the creeps in front of him. Yeah you shoot the vandal. Yeah, or you shoot the vandal instead. So that's something that he can do. We should have been uh, so he does shoot the vandal. You shoot the vendor, you play... And play. then you put... You can put uh, Champion of the Age... Uh, you can't put... Oh, uh, you yeah. just put Payday. You can't, you can't. There's no uh, So the next turn, uh, I would put the Champion of the Ancient. So that's one of the cards that yeah, is it's quite powerful. Because payday. since what you would do in the next turn for as PC that he would probably put both of his heroes in lane 1. Yeah. Which means that the champion of the ancient will get more damage and cleave and health. Where's all his money? I thought he has like 20 something gold. Um, he went to buy stone hawk cloak. The PC that bought assassin bear, stone hawk cloak, and kinfolk basket, which is kind of useless for this lane actually. I so... remember I seen seen Corby having. No, Corby didn't have much. Just gold? Now. Okay, okay. I was yeah. buying that. I saw like 30 gold. 30 gold was PC dead because he had oh, the... Okay, okay. He had the poaching knife. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm blind. So it's a better yeah, of the first lane. Better of the first lane right now. See, now, now PC dead has 3 heroes stranded on the last lane. 
which explains why I don't like uh, the over commitment on the last lane. Yep. So. So now, finger of death. What? I, yeah. So finger of death. You kill the Debbie, yeah. right? To kill the Debbie, definitely to kill the Debbie. Bam! Drop the finger. Yep. And then he will probably play the Bronze Legionnaire or something to try and block the sniper. Uh, what can you do here? Legionnaire? Hellbear? Oh, okay, so he plants, he plants the Hellbear. So what, what's the pro The problem with this here, right, is that there's nothing that um, PC Deck can do with the first lane anymore because he has his totally heroes are all stuck. Yeah, his heroes are all stuck in lane 3 and what I would do now as um, Call of v, I would just put the Champion of the Ancient down yeah. for additional 7 damage and... Yeah, so 7 damage and 13 health. And 11 health, actually. Or you can play 2 creeps, uh, which is also fine. Yep, so he has extra 7 damage going into the... Which I... will probably be blocked by the Bronze Legion at this turn. I would have played two but creeps. But it's kind of I would have played a low sleep and Oglody. So that's 10 damage. I, I would usually keep the Oglody at the end. For, for the last hit? Yeah, <laughs> because <laughs> it, it's like the something that your opponent will play around. We are not, we are not uh, anticipate. Uh. Yeah. Okay. So he points the Bristol back, right? That's no way to save the sniper. He 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 chose not to play chose to play the goo over the bronze legionnaire. The lion, yeah. To 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 I think blocking damage is I think yeah, I think he's still healthy, which is fine. Okay, so now Corvi has twenty two gold. Payday. What can you buy? You can buy a blink dagger. Yeah, probably a blink dagger at most. Okay, so now with the 24 damage, he can put... He will take at least another 3 turns to down. 3 or 4 turns to down the tower. Yeah, 24 is... 3 turns is not 72. Enough. Yeah. 3 turns is 72. But with... That is if accounting for the... No creeps. Yeah, it, it only accounts if you if um PC that has creeps and there's Kobe no creeps no for Corvi. Okay, so thirty, so that's three turns. That. Yeah. See now. now yeah. So three turns. We see that if he has now played the just... hell hell earlier, he has he will have one extra turn. Uh, so now Co PC has a blink dagger, but I do not know what. He has I to save his first lane. First lane is dying. I I I think uh PC that. But he decided to buy Red Miss more instead. So that's something that I wouldn't have spent on. I would have got the Blink Dagger instead. And no creeps for PC that for first lane. I think that. Yeah. So that's that's nineteen damage into the tower. That should be GG. So twenty three. So all he, all and um the, all Corby has to do is just to put a, uh, a creep. the Oglody or any creep on the or just arm the rebellion would be enough to do little. Yeah, okay. I think you enough magic here if you are PC that <laughs> That's a mistake for Corby. He's being too greedy. And uh, there's no reason to equip that hero's kit because yeah, that's it's cool. a it's a red hero. And yeah, I guess he's afraid of duel, which is... Right now, what uh, I would do is, I would just cover off night lane, to lane 1 to block the pistol. Uh, you, you, you go lane, you, you probably go last lane, in case uh, PC that can deal little here. Yeah, that's... Yeah, so either first lane or last lane. Yeah, then, so uh, you would use, you would just block. But let's see what he does. 
Yeah, probably last lane. Uh, because first lane, there's no way the Bristol will win. Yep, so cover of night is coming out. To the last lane. Yep, so he lands in front of a creep. <laughs> <laughs> That's Locks. rather unlucky. Locks two damage. I mean, judging from um, PC that's cut, see, there's no way he can end this game in this turn, so I would have just put it in first lane instead. Uh, you, you wouldn't know what cut he has, right? <laughs> for S Kirby. Yeah, S yeah you, you wouldn't know, but for us, we. For us, we you would know. know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so, play, play no accident. God, God oh, so, 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 what he does is he just wants to cut the Asa from this lane, which is. Okay, which is fine. And how many Oglody does he have? Um, he has... He has two Oglodis and he has one in... He has already drawn one in his hand. So which means that he has another one in his deck somewhere. If he managed to draw both Oglodis in the next turn, then the game would be won with another Oglody. <laughs> drop, bro. Now, now, now we see uh, how PC that not playing the Hell Bear two turns early has cost him the game. If he has played that, then uh, this turn, this tower will be at like ten health. Yeah, so it's a so it should be an easy win for Kobe. I yeah. don't, don't think there is any way for PC that to stop the damage. So he should have purchased the blink dagger and blink a hero from the right lane to the first lane. He just needed one more turn. Yeah, so now Sniper is going into lane one. <laughs> but uh what he can do is just um immediately just headshot, headshot Debbie. Yeah, he does. I would no headshot initiative. Debbie. Yeah, but there's nothing uh, Debbie oh, doesn't die. Debbie Cause, doesn't die. Because, yeah, it's not piercing. Yep, so he managed he managed to protect Debbie. But uh, what I would do is just put the either the, the Tyler Estate Sensor. You shoot the creep. Uh, yep, so that's 31 damage <laughs> from... I think there is no way for PC that to block. He can... A fight. He can pick a fight. That's yeah. that's the only thing he can do. You can block the Trian, but there's still six damage coming from the the two creeps. The one creep, the six. Yes. Uh, no, he can block the Trian, and then if he has enough mana to no accident, then no, that's no accident something. doesn't kill, right? It's... It kills. Oh, it doesn't kill. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so 23 damage right now. GG. Let's see what he do, what he does. Is he gonna pick a fight? But it's amazing to see a Brisa back with 11 armor. <laughs> Usually you, you don't see a Brisa back going this far. So you how worried it? Yes. Four, four times Baru Brawler means he has killed four heroes. So that should be GG. You can't really Okay, so uh, <laughs> six damage. There we go. Yeah, and Kobe just pass. You don't need to play anything. Right now, PC Dad is sad that he deployed three heroes on the right. And yeah. <laughs> That cost him the first lane and the second. Yeah, he thought the first the first lane was won. That was his mistake. Yeah. So that there's two points that uh lost PC that the game. One is triple deploy three raids on the right, and secondly is not playing the hellbear. Yeah, the hellbear would have helped him quite a lot. Okay, so he 
has nothing else he can do. Press the button and yeah, just... That's gone. Accept your defeat. I, I think Kirby played uh, quite solidly. Mm -hmm. So even with a lion, so I think that's a very solid play. So um, what? Who's who else is still on? The, the first so candlelight is candlelight and the Russian guy. I think he's Russian. <laughs> yeah. So the Russian guy on ice. has two solar can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's let's hop into the game. Sure. I'm looking at a store and the Russian guy actually has a Horn of the Alpha in the secret shop, which I don't know whether he held on to it or not, but I don't think he would have enough money to buy it. Wow, you look at the middle lane for Russian guy. <laughs> it's three, three, three units is dealing 34 damage. That's a lot. So look, looking at their deck, one has Draw Ranger and another one has two Solar Khans. So both has a pretty decent deck, I would say. And the game yeah. has bugged out, I can't see the heroes. Oh, go. now you can see. <laughs> so, lane one is going towards Candlelight. Oh, so that should be game, right? There's no way for... Yeah, this is game actually. <laughs> There's nothing he can do to reduce the damage from the creeps. I guess... Draw Ranger yeah. is just disgusting. Yeah, Draw Ranger is a very, very... Disgusting hero. Annoying card. So Candlelight is actually on... 5-0. First place, 5-0. Tied with Kobe. So that's a match to... To look on uh, next round. Mm -hmm. Yep, definitely. So surprisingly, so last week uh, we have someone that managed to go that that six round is not enough to determine the winner. So mm -hmm. seven rounds would yeah. determine that one player would have seven zero. So that that guy would be winning a ten dollar USD Steam credit from us but uh it, 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 uh it seems like this week that uh there's multiple six ones is possible because we have two more rounds mm -hmm. yeah so we would we shall just see how it plays out in the end okay let's hop into chingapino's deck chingapino sure all right i'll and i'll take a short Silent break. One minute. One minute. Yep, sure, sure, sure. Go ahead. So as you can see here, what's going on is that I have no idea what's going on actually. <laughs> okay, so lane one is technically going to this Russian guy. We have a lot of Russian players recently. Thank you all to those who invited your friends to our Twig tournaments. We like the extra players. And yeah, do join our Discord if you haven't. Um, you just you just have to type exclamation mark, exclamation mark Discord and then it will pop up as a link. Anyways, um, carrying on from earlier. He threw Divine Intervention, which actually protects one melee creep from damage which is kind of a very bad thing that I, I would not do this because it's not really how would I put it um, economical in a sense like now he has the helm of the dominator he will just um dominate over the stone hall elite and yeah yep i'm back 19 damage all right yep that's lethal oh, that's lethal um, okay okay 
chill. Yeah, I'm so unlucky to find candlelight first round. He's going fan. Still undefeated. So technically, chill. If you can win all your game, and candlelight loses his next two game, technically, uh, you can still be the first. If yeah, so. But Where's candlelight? Nothing. Candlelight is a number one. Yeah, Canada is number 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 one. She's number two. Kovi took over. Yeah, they're tight. So, so for Sh where is Shield at? Shield is at three two. Oh, and I think if with two losses, uh, it's probably not possible to to fight for the first place. But you can still fight for the sixteen, top sixteen, and get the juicy 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 points. For our invitational. There's two more games going on. Well, um, in any case, even if you don't make it to the top 16 this week, we still have two qualifiers to go. So you can actually make the top eight in the last two qualifiers. And you might even get enough points to get, get into the, the invitationals. For yep and yeah, as like you said, yeah, it is fun. It is a great community community tournament which allows everyone to mingle with each other. And yeah, so and hopefully this month we can raise a decent amount of prize pool so that next next uh next month we can have. The big money for our participants. Alright, so uh, I'll just hop into one of the game. So left with two players the in the Okiliu. Yeah, Okiliu and Nota Play. <laughs> oh wow, what what a big swan. 25 damage. Minus 15 armor. What the f <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why was it minus 15 armor? I think I guess it's red armor. But red armor just makes you No oh, a double edge, sorry. From the ah, <laughs> yeah. Wow, that was very dangerous place, man. Okay. Okay, so le I guess that's left with one game, Moon versus Choker. Yeah, just hop into so... it. So let's see who's winning at the moment. Um, from what I can see, if Choker can get Tower 1 in this turn, which seems impossible, he would win. But if he doesn't get it, then uh, he would lose at tower 3. Tower 3? Uh, yeah, Choker, uh, Choker has two, men, two, the, 2 HP left on tower 3. Tower 3 is fully blocked for Choker. So he can still... And based on the cards that we know, he will still survive for one more turn. Obviously, he doesn't know uh, that Moon doesn't have a creep. Moon has a creep, the Disciple of Nevermore. Just, but he can't play it. He can't play it on lane 3, so that's quite sad. So, yeah, he will never be able to play on lane 3, so uh, I would just play it on the lane 1. Uh, uh, in... But there is a chance that the 6 damage will go to the tower in lane 1. And that is something you... Oh, okay, so that's lethal, so... Lethal? What? There's lethal. something you can do. Uh, Choker has lethal damage to... The tower because of the ah, creepy the... small. Okay. That lightning strike. Lightning strike yeah, for the win. Because lightning strike is a very good card. <laughs> I wouldn't say very good. I think it's a playable card. Yeah, it's a very situational card. It's one of the cards where you you keep to the end and you try to get last minute damage in. Yeah. You you don't want to draw them early. Mm -hmm. So that concludes round 5 guys. So two more rounds, two more rounds. Two more rounds. Two more rounds.